guys, hope you're all doing well. So today I tried out some new goodies that I got from Black Moon Cosmetics. They were kind enough to send me over their entire range of products. I am absolutely amazed by the quality and pigmentation of everything that they sent. Their formula of their liquid lipsticks is really, really amazing. Um, they're pigmented, they don't go on patchy, at least the ones I've tried, and I've tried some of the darker colors. So those are usually the ones that I'll have trouble with, but their formula is really, really great. Their black liquid lipstick is a must have for anyone who loves black lipsticks. It's the most pigmented one I've ever tried in my life. It's really great. Um, I also tried out some of their cosmic eye dusts on my eyes today. As you can see on my lid, they're just really, really beautiful shimmery cream eyeshadows that you put on with a doe foot applicator. So it's an interesting formula and they do have kind of a duochrome shift. Um, in the bottles, I think you can see it a little bit more than on the eyes, but they are still a really, really beautiful product. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So the first eyeshadow I'm taking today is Make a Peak Shore Thing. It's just a really nice minty green, and I'm going to be putting that on the inner third of my crease. And this is a really lovely shade, but I do find it takes some building up to get it to the true color in the pan, just because it is a pastel color. And the next shade that I'm taking right here is by Makeup Week as well, and this is in the shade Dragonfly, and I'm just going to be putting that in the crease right beside the first shade I put on. The next color I am taking is also by Makeup Geek, and this is in the shade Bitten. And I'm just going to be putting this on my outer corner and a little bit into the crease. Alright, so now that I have some crazy crease color shades going on, I'm going to get started with the point of this makeup look which is the black moon cosmetics products that i got sent for the eyes i'm using two of their eye dust cosmic eye dust and they're in the shades cosmos and martian and i'm just going to be cutting my crease with the mac painterly paint pot to give those a nice um skin tone base to go on top of So the Cosmic Eye Dust have really nice doe foot applicators on them and I think I'm just going to go straight in with the applicator on my eye. I'm not going to put it on a brush or anything. So we'll give this a try and see how it applies. So I absolutely love that color as you can see it's a really nice sort of berry shimmer shade on the lid there. I'm a little bummed. I can't really see the shift of the green that you can see in the in the tube but it is still a really really pretty shade. blend it out into that red color. First I'm using my finger and if my finger blending in doesn't work then I will also go in with a little bit more cherry cola on the brush and just blend it in once it's dry. So just to fix up that outer corner I'm just taking more of the Bitten shade. I'm going to pack that on my outer corner, blend it slightly into the Cosmic Eye Dust and then I'm also going to take a little tiny bit of this in the crease area. So next I'm going to go ahead and do my lipstick just because I'm having a really hard time deciding if I want to do eyeliner on my eyes or not with um, another one of the liquid lipstick shades. So I'm going to do the lips first and then see how that looks with the eyes. So for my lips I'm using the shade Celine from Black Mood Cosmetics and it's like a really nice shimmery burgundy color. So I decided not to go in with a wing liner just because my hands are really shaky right now because I haven't eaten food in a little while. 
Um, I'm about to eat dinner, but I'm just really shaky, so I'm not going to attempt a winged liner. Um, we'll leave that for another day, but I'm just taking a little bit of Makeup Geek Cherry Cola, and I'm going to be smudging that below my lower lash line. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply mascara and false lashes. And of course, I just hit a dot of mascara onto my eyeshadow that I just spent um, a little bit of time on. So that's always a fun time. So I just decided I'm going to pop a little bit of a mint green um, eyeliner into my waterline. So I'm taking the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Mint. Minty Green. That's a very fitting name. So the lashes I'm using today are by Black Magic Lashes, and these are in the style Taboo. Alrighty, so this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me create this Black Moon Cosmetics look. I am definitely digging how it turned out. I didn't really have a direction going into it other than I picked out some colors and I hoped that they would go together well, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, then just comment down below and let me know what you would like to see. And I just want to quickly thank again Black Moon Cosmetics for sending over their entire range of products. They are a definite must check out, guys. I highly, highly recommend them. Um, I love I loved everything I've tried so far. I haven't obviously tried every single one of their shades, but of the ones I have tried, their pigmentation is just amazing. So definitely go check out Black Moon Cosmetics. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.